Hey everyone, welcome into One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today I am back with another results video of the eBay challenge. This time it is for Topps Chrome Update Series 2023. We actually opened up three boxes. We opened up the Jumbo, the Breakers Delight, and the Hobby, and we're going to break down what each one of those returned on investment. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's buckle up and find out how good Topps Chrome Update Series really is. Okay, so here we go. We've got three boxes we're going to cover off on today for 2023 Topps Chrome Update. This is the eBay Challenge results video. Here's what that is. Basically, I purchase a hobby box of sealed wax. In this case, I purchased three, the jumbo box, the hobby box, and the breaker's delight box for 2023 Topps Chrome Update Series. I opened the boxes on the channel a couple weeks ago to show you what was pulled. And then what I did is I listed as many of those cards over on eBay as quickly as I could to try and see how much we can make back on a random average box. Then... This video is the follow-up video that details all of the sales, the profits and loss and breakdown of how much value is going to be in each box. Then what I do is I keep a running list of each box that is open so I can show you which sets provide the most value. The goals of all this, one, gain a better understanding of what you can reasonably expect to get in return on an average hobby box of cards. Then we also want to find out what sets are the best sets to be buying if you're looking to flip cards over on eBay. And we're going to find out if the retail prices of sealed wax that Fanatics has given, is it too high? Is it too low? Is it in line with what we can generally expect for a return on investment? So let's dig right in. The first box we're going to dig into is the hobby box of Topps Chrome Update. Here's the specifics. That box cost me $139.09 .09 after shipping and taxes and all of that. It gave us 24 packs, four cards per pack, and it guaranteed an auto, and you also get six refractors. I only listed 13 of the total cards. I could have listed more, but I had three boxes and I wanted to get as many of all three boxes out. So I did 13 total listings, the ones that I thought would bring most value back and sell quickest over on eBay. So let's find out how the hobby box did. Well, I sold five cards only. And most of them were not that much in sales price. I had an Adley Rutschman uh, rookie refractor in there that sold for seven. Corbin Carroll, Anthony Volpe, Gunnar Henderson. The auto did sell. It was a Levi Stout rookie auto. It was a base auto. Only sold for $5.99. So those were the sales. The card sales by price, well, they averaged $5.09. Didn't get one that was even over $10. I believe it was the Adley Rutschman rookie refractor for $7. That one was a rookie debut. So... Seven bucks for the refractor. That's about right. So it ended up being $5.09 per card. The profit loss, re loss results for the hobby box. Pretty abysmal. Ended up making $32.71 on the box. After eBay, they charge for each card sold 30 cents per sale. Plus they have a 13.25% selling fee. So I had to pay those. Ended up $1.69 in total tax, so not much tax, but I don't get to keep that. Shipping only ended up costing me $3.15, and the total cost of the box, you got to add that in, uh, $139.09 there. So all of my expenses out the door, $149.76. So my profit loss on the box after I take out the $32.71 that I brought in, ended up being a loss of $117.05. So the box return percentage was only 21.84%, call it 22%. So not a very good return on the hobby box. But now let's take a look at the jumbo box. Here's what you get out of that. Total cost on that box was $376.24. That gives you 12 packs, 13 cards per pack. You do get three guaranteed autos and 12 refractors out of the jumbo box. 
I ended up listing 18 total cards out of the box. Again, the ones that I thought would sell fastest for the most money. Here's the sold items that came out of the jumbo box. I ended up selling eight of them and we had a couple good ones and one big one. The big one, the Yuri Perez rookie card Aqua Auto Refractor numbered to $199. That sold for $127.50. Then we had a couple smaller sales in there. The Matt McLean Rookie Card Refractor, that was a true rookie. That sold for $12.99. And then a bunch of other smaller sales in there as well. You can see what those are on screen. The card sales by price. Well, because of the Yuri Perez, it jumped all the way up to $20.49. We, again, we had one that sold, that, that Matt McLean that sold for $12.99. But overall, you can see here, most of the cards kind of selling between 7 and 10 bucks somewhere around there. So let's take a look at the profit loss results for the Jumbo Box. Well, I ended up making a total sales of $189.16, but we take out, again, all those eBay fees, the tax, the shipping, the cost of the box, the total expenses ended up being $424.32. So that means our profit loss on the box was $235.16. But our profit loss percentage improved quite a bit. This returned a 44.58% return on investment when you take into account your sales and your expenses. So a 44.58% return, much better than the hobby box, but still not great at all. Now, what about that Breakers Delight box that they have? Well, let's find out. We've got a cost of $258.70 on the Breakers Delight box. It only gives you one pack, 12 cards per pack, 12 guaranteed autos, and guess what? The rest of the cards are all refractors or parallels. I ended up listing 10 of the 12 cards. Two of them were refractors that were just kind of common, so I did not list those. Well, let's find out what sold. Well, seven of them sold, so a lot of the cards in the box sold. The one that sold for the most, the Topps Chrome Update Luis Castillo Refractor Auto All-Star. That sold for $29. We also had a Logan Allen Rookie Card Refractor Auto, so both of the autos sold out of there. And then we had a couple other cards in there. The James Altman, that was the Youthquake Dodgers SP, that sold for $8.99. And then a, like a Yuri Perez Refractor, that went for $3.50. And we also had a Von Grisham rookie card magenta number to $2.99. That one, I believe, was a rookie debut card. Yeah, it was a rookie debut. That sold for $5.99. So let's take a look at the profit loss results for the Breakers Delight Box. Well, well, actually, we'll take a look at card sales by price. The average sold price ended up being $10.64. The autos we got out of there, kind of average autos, I would say. The Luis Castillo got us up near 30 bucks, so not bad there. But the uh, Logan Allen rookie card refractor, that went for 15 And the rest of them are kind of under 10 bucks, between 5 and 10 bucks for the most part. So the profit loss results on the Breakers Delight. I brought in $93.47, and then after we take the eBay fees and all of the tax, shipping, cost of the box, total expenses were $287.87. So my profit loss, well, I lost $194.40. So the box return percentage was 32.47%. Not a great return on the Breakers Delight box either. So took a little bit of a bath on Topps Chrome Update. Let's take a look at as we aggregate all three boxes together, the average sold price for all of the sold items out of all of the boxes was $13.19. So not too bad there on the average sold price per card. The profit loss results, well, I brought in $315.34 total. The total expenses, $872 even. So I lost $556.66 total to date on these boxes. The box return percentage only going to be 
36.16%. So not very good return on investment on Topps Chrome Update Series. Here's a little bit of a summary on what I think we can take away from all of this. The boxes that I opened were probably below average. That hobby box was not very good at all. To average boxes, I think that Breaker's Delight box was about average of what you could expect. The Jumbo box, we did get one big auto out of there, but I still would call that average. All of the cards were listed, buy it now or best offer, so no auctions that I did. Uh, the average sold price, okay, 13 bucks a card. That's about what you would expect out of Topps Chrome Update. The one thing I would note, Anthony Volpe and the 2023 Rookies of the Year, the Gunnar Henderson, the Corbin Carrolls, they were all viewed a lot and they sold well. So that rookie class is selling well. So if you've got the rookies from 2023 Topps Chrome Update, they're probably going to sell over on eBay. Interestingly, not all of the autos sold. I still got two available. I think it's a Matt Steph uh, Stefanik. Uh, that's actually a number to 150. Offhand, I can't remember what the other one is right now, but interesting that not all of the autos sold. I also found that the market for the parallels is really soft. People offering way less than what I would be willing to sell them for and just not offers that I was willing to take. Plus the views were low on a lot of those parallels. So the views not very high on them, which kind of makes sense because they flood the market because this is available in retail. It's available in hobby. There's a bunch of different formats and there's just a ton of cards available. So to get the views that you need to be able to sell these cards quickly, going to be hard on a large release such as Topps Chrome Update Series. Also, the timing of the release kind of came out right after the World Series ended. Not a lot of interest. The hot stove hasn't heated up yet. Lands right into where it's just a soft spot in yearly sales for baseball cards. The market down this time of year for baseball cards across the board, which is a very seasonal thing. And then that thing I would take away, that premium price that you're paying for that Topps Chrome name probably not worth it. I think there's better boxes that you can buy. I get everyone likes Topps Chrome Update Series, but if you're looking to flip, it's going to be a tough market, which isn't that much of a surprise. But paying as much as these boxes were for like the jumbo boxes and the Breakers Delight, you are not going to get your return on investment in probably 95% of the boxes. So buyer beware on paying a premium for that Topps Chrome name. So let's take a look at the individual set ratings to date. Our best set after rating five different boxes is the Topps Allen & Ginter X. That has returned 159%, almost 160% of its value. We just did Bowman Sterling a couple days ago. That got a D, only returned 28% of the value. And then as we look at the Topps Chrome, the Hobby Box, they, that gets an F, our first F that only returned 21.84%. The jumbo box gives us a D, but we're pretty close to a C there. We'll see if we can get that up to a C with a few more sales. And then the breakers delight box that gets a D as well, only returning 32% of the value on the box. So let's take a look at our total profit loss to date. Well, I'm starting to lose a lot of money guys. Uh, Topps Allen and Ginter X, I made 85 bucks off that box, but took a bath on Topps Chrome Update. $556.66 in the hole. Bowman Sterling didn't do much better. Took a bath on that box as well. $309 in the hole there. So uh, my average percentage return on investment when you take all these boxes together we are at 44.21%, just not very good. We are still at that D range. I think we actually dropped down from a C when we added Topps Chrome Update in. I believe we were at a C before um, when we only have Bowman Sterling and Ginter X, but now we're in a D range. So going lower, Hopefully on the next few boxes that we do here with Bowman Chrome Sapphire, Tops Rip, and Bowman Draft coming up, we'll see if we can get that up a little bit higher. So guys, be sure to comment below. Let me know what you think about these numbers. Let me know if you think box prices are high, low, or kind of, you know, this is, hey, what you expect in the hobby these days. 
Be sure to subscribe if you like this video series because we're going to be doing it for a lot of different sets coming up. And be sure to throw over to first and hit that like button for me. Until next time, guys, as you're out there in the wild ripping packs, I hope you are ripping fire. And as always, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again soon.